Kyrie Irving is one of the most interesting basketball players in the NBA. While he is one of the greatest talents that the game has ever seen, playing basketball with such an ease that he makes other professionals look silly when guarding him. Although Kyrie's talents are otherworldly, he seems to find himself in a lot more conversations regarding his off-court situations, like the Kanye West of basketball, always performing at a high level, but always as much controversial. However, they are still greatly respected by their peers. Let's hear what some of the NBA's biggest stars have had to say about about Kyrie Irving. Irving and Kevin Durant have been great friends for years. The two were even a package deal in 2019 when they became Brooklyn Nets. Five years later, the two are playing against each other once again and are parts of two teams that have an increasing rivalry between them. However, KD doesn't feel any different with the situation in hand, as he enjoys competing against great players of Irving's caliber. I mean, I played more of my career against them than with them, so uh, it didn't feel no different. It was a good game. He played great. They're a tough team to stop, so we're looking forward to our next game, and you know, we just want to keep building. While Irving is a smooth and shifty player who can spend the entire night going basket for basket against you, Milwaukee Bucks' Antetokounmpo relies more on his physical attributes to get the same outcome, which is getting buckets. After a win against the Dallas Mavericks, Giannis was asked if there is a different energy when two guys like Damian Lillard and himself are playing against players of Luka and Irving's status. No, no, not absolutely not. But um, just try to play my game, try not to compare myself with nobody. Just try to be you know, okay with myself, with the game that I can play and the way I can help my teammates and um, try to play within my strength as much as I can. At the moment that you start comparing you know, and try to play or go basket basket with three uh, quote to quote probably arguably one best shooters in the league. Kyrie Irving can make any shot he wants. Luka can make every step back in one day. We can shoot from the freaking logo. Like, how can I go basket to basket with those guys? Like, I cannot. I just got to play my game, you know, rebound the ball, play some defense, I, you know, attack as much as I can, create plays for my teammate, and just uh, play within my strengths. The rivalry between the Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors was the thing to watch during the mid-2010s. We witnessed a lot of great basketball between the two teams, and Irving surely played a big role in that. If anybody knows what it is like to play against Irving, it would be Draymond Green, who has probably spent countless hours scouting him. No wonder he has so much respect for Irving, considering him one of the most skilled players of all time. Kyrie Irving is the scorer the world thinks of Kevin Durant. There are some things at times that you can do to Kevin to make it a little tougher on him. Kyrie Irving, you can't like do anything to make it hard on him. He got the game of basketball figured out. When it comes to playing with the basketball, Ball. He's got that figured out. I saw Damian uh, Lillard tweet, Dame Dollar, tweet, Kyrie Irving is the most skilled player in NBA history. And quite frankly, I'm not sure who can argue against that. Me personally, I may argue Steph Curry, the most skilled player we've ever seen, most talented, just some things that he could do. But as I said before, you have an argument. Although the two are great point guards of their own, Irving and Russell Westbrook are two polar opposites. Irving relies on his on-ball skills to get some buckets, while Russ relies more on his athleticism. Irving is more controversial off the court, while having little to no drama on it, while Russ always gathers attention with his action on the court, while being one of the least dramatic stars off of it. However, each time around, the two have been there there to support each other, and that is just a testament to the respect they have for one another. Uh, you know what? It's, it's, it's a little better this year. He actually, you know, he worked out, uh, worked out a couple of times in the summertime. Just you know, hearing his perspective and how he goes about his life is always interesting, and, and I respect him for everything that he, he stands for and he stands on. You know, especially his family and things. And obviously, he's a great basketball player and done a lot of great things in the league. So, mutual respect. I mean, I'm always. Thankful for him supporting me uh, through all everything, you know, since I've been in the league. One of the most iconic shots in NBA history happened in the 2016 Finals matchup between the Cavaliers and Warriors, and it was taken by none other than Irving himself, Clay Thompson, who always was tasked with guarding the opposing team's best perimeter offensive player, actually switched from guarding Irving to J.R. Smith and left his teammate Curry, a much weaker defender, guard one of the greatest one-on-one -on -one players ever. To this day, Clay regrets switching that pick and opened up a bit about it on the All the Smoke podcast hosted by Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. Yeah, man, that was a tough series. Three, That's one. the other biggest regret I have in my basketball career besides getting busted for the weed was switching that pick and roll with Steph, with JR and Kyrie. I still can't, like, I, I can't bring myself to watch that footage. It's, un it's too uncomfortable, you know? I can't believe I just gave him that switch. Now Kyrie got one of the greatest shots in NBA history and I like 
Steph's a great defender too, but I'm just like, man, I can't believe I conceded that switch. It still burns. You never get over things like but, that. But, but that. Victor Wembanyama is the most hyped basketball player right now. Although very young, he is very mature and very serious about basketball, taking every matchup as an opportunity to grow and learn. And he has definitely learned a lot from Irving, who managed to score over Wemby's eight-foot wingspan on multiple occasions, once again proving how tough of a matchup he truly is. In the post-game interview, Wemby gave a shout-out to both Irving and Luca, who he obviously truly respects. You know, started the second quarter, we had a, I mean, we had a decent lead in the first, and you know, we were down at half. You know, making shots, shot making, uh, we weren't good tonight happens and also, also you know against this type of players Luca and Kyrie it's um we know we're not going to stop every single possession they have so we have to be relentless and like apply scouting report every single position because every single one of, of, of the shots they'll make and the, the turnovers they'll make is is a, is a small win and we gotta I mean we need all of them we need as much as we can so yeah it's uh you, you continue to apply the Anthony Edwards-led Minnesota Timberwolves are the third best defense in the 2023-24 NBA season, but even they struggle to find a solution for Irving and Luka's wizardry. After a tough loss against the Dallas Mavericks, Anthony Edwards admitted that the Wolves did not have any answers for what Irving and Luka gave them that night. We couldn't guard, we couldn't guard nobody tonight. They both had like 40. He was then asked a follow-up question about what made it so difficult to stop the two, to which the Ant-Man replied, I don't know, I guess they were just hitting. They was hitting everything. Luka hit the crazy. Three. Some crazy shots too, so. The Boston Celtics are one of the most serious title contenders for the 2024 NBA championship. The squad led by Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown is looking more dangerous than ever. However, it was not so long ago when the two were newcomers in the league and were taken under Irving's mentorship. To this day, the two Jays are grateful for it, and Jason Tatum once took the opportunity to publicly thank Irving for it. Yeah, uh, he helped me out a lot, you know, those first two years, just kind of watching, you know, a superstar. I got to see him every day, you know, see how he worked, worked on his body and prepared for games and things like that. And, you know, learn what to do, learn some things what not to do. And, you know, he'll be the first to tell me that, you know, I could just, you know, learn from the uh, encounters that we had. And obviously we've talked and, and some things that he probably, you know, he told me wish he could do, would have done differently. But I think that's just part of life. You know, nobody's perfect. And you just gotta move on from it uh, as you get older. If there was one player that could give Prime Curry the business during the mid-2010s, that would be Irving. Although Curry is four years older than Irving, the two peaked at around the same time and gave us some crazy memories during the clashes they had in the finals, especially in 2016, when Irving hit the series clinching shot over Curry in Game 7. Curry talked a bit about his and the Warriors' 2016 campaign, and then explained how crazy good both LeBron James and Irving were in the last three games of the finals, when everybody thought that it was going to be over. Then you get to the finals, and you're up 3-1, and you're already kind of counting the win is like, oh, just get it done. Draymond suspension and all that it kind of is a little distraction, but you're like, we're still right there. Like, we're about to be two time like defending champs back to back and the whole vibe and know how it ended. What I, what I say about that 3 1 situation is I've never seen two guys play at that level for three straight, for three play, straight games. It's the craziest thing I've ever yeah. seen. Like, Bron and Cook Kyrie were just on. Like, we play well. They just play better. It was hard to watch and be in that vibe where you couldn't do anything about it. And, you know, we still had an opportunity to win game five and seven down the stretch. And then the, the Kevin Love possession, which is one of my, like, if there's, like, one play, like, I know I should have done something different. It's that one. It was, like, way more time on the clock than I thought. Me trying to answer Kyrie's three over me was kind of in my head. And, you know, you force up a shot and you kind of lose momentum and they, they win on your home floor. Uh, but you can always tip your hat to somebody who just outplayed you. And that's what they did for three straight games. Tyrese Halliburton is one of the NBA's best young guards. Growing up in the 2000s and 2010s, Tyrese's idol was obviously LeBron James. Closely following LeBron's game, Tyrese naturally started to have a lot of respect for LeBron's Cleveland right-hand man, Irving. When asked what the game plan was for Irving ahead of a matchup between the Pacers and Mavericks, Halliburton explained that there is not much you can do for guys like him and Luka, except give your all to make it as tough as possible for them. Uh, it's two of the best one-on-one -on -one players in the world. Um, you know, you gotta understand, Luka averages like 35, I don't know what Kyrie averages, but they're gonna get theirs. You know, it's just about uh, making it as tough as you can. They're two of the most elite basketball players in the world. When healthy, LaMelo Ball is one of the most talented one-on-one -on -one players in the NBA. 
He is shifty, smooth, and plays at his own pace, something like a taller version of Irving. The Dallas star is aware of LaMelo's talents as well, and has even told LaMelo that he has the potential to be one of the NBA's greats when it is all said and done. LaMelo has a lot of respect for Kyrie as well, and has gone out and said it publicly. Yeah, no, that's love, for sure. I mean, Kyrie, for sure. Great at basketball, you already seen what he do, so it's yeah, much respect. I want to thank Spence and Dope. You know, those are my guys. Uh, we'll obviously miss, miss them here, but uh, yeah, Kyrie is Kyrie, man. What do you mean Kyrie is Kyrie? Like, when you think of Kyrie, what do you think of? The NBA championship, NBA champion, uh, probably the best ball handler ever in the game. Uh, amazing player, and you know, it's good. Gonna be fun to, to play with him. This was said before Luca and Irving had the chance to play together. A year later, Luca and Irving have been playing very well off of each other. In a guest appearance on JJ Reddick's podcast, Luca talked a little more about playing with Irving, but now with almost a season of experience. Really great guy, you know, obviously basketball player, uh, the way he is. But it's just been amazing, you know. He helps me, he helps everybody in the team, and everybody loves him on the team. So he's just a great guy. Luca continued to explain how it was easier for him to play more minutes when Kyrie is playing alongside him. Oh, it's way easier. Like I told you, you know, I, I guess they played 43 minutes and I f it was back to back and I felt fine, you know. Me on a back to back is it's tough. Uh, but it's way easier, man. Just like Brooklyn blitzed me yesterday and the next guy was Kyrie. So sometimes he was even open. So that's, that's like easiest way to play. It's so much easier. And what better way to prove Luca's point about the game being easier when Kyrie is on the floor than a game winner against the NBA champions? Luca was amazed and did not hold back any praise for Kyrie after the game, even though he could not explain his amazement with enough words. It's unbelievable, man. How did people really like some tough shot at this? With the offhand, like even to have a chance, but that was, that was, that was it. I don't think people really like some tough shots. Speaking of the game winner against Denver, Nikola Jokic was the defender that Irving hit the shot over. While the Joker may not be a lockdown defender, he is almost a 7-footer with a 7.3 wingspan, which makes Irving's shot even more difficult. The Joker is aware of the degree of difficulty and made sure to give Kyrie his props. And uh, I mean, probably made a really tough shot. If I'm not going to make that shot, definitely it's him. So, uh, and I'm surprised I'm not. So, uh, if you guys are going to make that shot, for sure. Kyrie is really the Kanye West of the NBA. When he is not focused on his craft, there is a lot of drama surrounding him, whether off the court or in the locker room. However, once he gets his stuff together, he is one of the best performers in all of basketball, one of the clutchest players ever, and definitely the greatest ball handler that the NBA has ever had. Kyrie truly is a special talent. As he gets up there in age, his prime days are most likely behind him. However, there seems to be a lot left in him still. So let's just wish him all the best, so we get to see a lot more of Kyrie Irving in the years to come.